people around here, my neighbors and that, I have forced respect. Yeah. The people that used to live next door, they're not there no more. But like, obviously, some stuff has happened and I ain't going to say. But what I'm saying is, like, imagine if one of their family members or one of their people came around and heard that I done something. If they said, what? The guy next door done what? I'm going to go next door. They'll say, don't. Do not go next door. Because that guy will beat you up. He will. He will. My, my name, I feel so much respect here that, like, People know, if you go knocking at that guy's next door, there is a 99% chance he's going to beat you up outside. Or I might get beaten up, but there's going to be some hands thrown, I, I promise you. You're not coming, you, yeah, you can't come to this front door. Uh, I, you know, I'm not a big guy, I'm only five foot nine, I'm skinny, but me, I let my fist do the talking. I talk a lot on the internet, on the streets, I don't fucking talk. I don't talk. Yeah, people say JYs is crazy. I'm a madman. No, yeah, I, I am a lunatic. Yeah, I am a lunatic. Trust me. A known maniac. The new place where I'm moving to, I've had to set it on like four people. I haven't even moved to the street yet. I've had to set it on four people. I told the parents, because the little kids are playing football. When I move in, there's going to be some changes around here. In the history of the world, I don't think anyone has ever said that. Yeah? You're going to learn there's a maniac living on the corner house. Yeah? You already know on this estate, there's a madman that lives at the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, yeah, like, I'm a quiet man. I don't make no noise. You see the people around here, they would, my neighbors, my direct neighbors, they would never know I was in my house unless my car is outside because I'm quiet. I don't play loud music. I don't smoke weed. I don't bring around antisocial people. Nothing like that. I'm, I'm a quiet man. I'm like an old man. Just don't disturb me, please. Because I, yeah. Obviously, I have to be careful though, because you know, I've got stuff to lose. And I met a tenant, was it yesterday? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah it was yesterday. I met a tenant, this, this is funny. So obviously when I go to tenants' houses, I don't smoke. So when I go into the tenants' houses, if they smoke in front of me, I will ask them politely, do, do you mind not smoking around me? I don't smoke. This is in their house, I don't care. I'm polite about it though, don't get it twisted. Every now and then I'll have people kick off. I had two people this week. One old man, like a old man in a chair, yeah? And then some, I mean, he was an older guy, but he was still fit and healthy and that. He opened up the door, as I walked to him, he had a cigarette in his hand. I said, sorry, my friend, I don't smoke, do you mind waiting? Yeah? Kind of a bit of a big guy and that. He's like, well, look, you're gonna have to go somewhere else then. You're not gonna come here and tell me I can't smoke in my house. I said, my friend, I don't smoke, yeah? So he was like, well, look, why don't you put on a mask? I said, I said, look, a mask is not going to protect me from inhaling smoke. So he said, all right, I'm going to go outside then. Anyway. But the guy was trying to give man pushback and that. I've had it. I've had man pull out a hockey stick. I've had man go mad. I don't care. I don't care. I don't smoke. So please respect me. Yeah? Please respect me. I don't, I don't smoke. I'm not going to people's houses to boss them around and that. On my job at my workplace, I swear I've had like 10 good reports. I know the other engineers don't get no good reports. I get them all the time. I get them all the time. The amount of chicks, yeah, that I've had phone up or, or write an email. Oh, that guy was so polite. This, that, that, whatever and that. I mean, I think they do it to kiss man's ass, you know. <laughs> I swear down. I swear down. I've had chicks give, I had, I've had two chicks, well, I had one, one woman, like big woman, like 50 years old, she gave me money. I had another chick give me money, like this was a young girl, like 25 or something like that. I had a girl give me money, like, yeah, here's a tip, like, kind of thing. Yeah, man, I had like 10 good reports, like they email in, oh, that guy was so lovely and that. Me, I just, I've got respect. 
I know you lot might think man's a maniac and that, but when I go through the door, but before I get through the door, I say to them, look, do you want me to put on shoe covers? You know, the blue shoe covers and that? I'll ask them, you want to put on shoe covers? They're like, no, nah, don't worry about it. I say, look, I always ask. Yeah? Because no one's coming through my door. You're not coming through this door without putting on shoe covers. Um, I've, had, I've had tenants like one woman, <laughs> she opened up the door and I said, do you want to put on shoe covers? She's like, oh my God, I love you. I said, what? She was like, oh, thanks for offering to put on shoe covers because when the engine, when the trade people come around, they don't want to put on shoe covers and I'm having to have like a little confrontation with them. But it's cool. I say, look, because no one's coming through my door. We will have a standoff at that door. You're not coming through. You're not coming through this door. You're not coming through this door. 